a refrigerator based on ideal ideal we will assume that there is no losses there is working from what temperature minus 10 to 40 so this temperature is what this one is evaporator at minus 10 condenser temperature 40 the effluent enters the compressor as saturated vapor that is correct and leaves the condenser as subcooled so this one is what subcooled condition condenser is 40 and this one is 30 so it is called as subcooled temperature decreases is called as subcooled leaves the condenser as subcooled liquid at 35 having hf equal to what 30 equals to this so this one is our h3 the enthalpy and entropy value for saturated liquid and vapor at these conditions are given here so no other data is given the table is available here so you have to use the table and you have to solve the problem so we have a table value here now very first thing at point number one is it a dry and saturate corresponds to what minus 10 so you have to take the table of minus 10 column of hg is what 1451 so this one is h1 h3 is same as h4 because your process is what iso enthalpy process so out of four points i already know the enthalpy of three points only one point is left from process 1 to 2 is it a isentropic process but first of all we will find out s1 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 is at this condition that is dry and saturated for dry and saturated is it sg at what temperature so at temperature equal to what minus 10 so come to the table of minus 10 see hg value is it 5.757 now we don't know s2 but the process is what isentropic process so s1 is equal to s2 is equals to if we, we don't know the temperature at point number 2 but the point number 2 is superheated so for superheated we can write sg plus cp multiplied by ln of soup so soup is so what are the temperatures that is given to you evaporator and condenser they are saturated actual temperature is called as soup so what is s2 is 5.757 point number 2 at what temperature at 40 at 40 what is the value of sg is the value of cp soup is given to you all temperature as a ratio must be kelvin so what is t soup we don't know that is a t2 plus 273 divided by t sach t sach is for 2 tc is saturation for 1 t is saturation so for this one is 40 solve this value to obtain t2 the temperature t2 will come in degree celsius and the value is equals to is degree celsius can we calculate enthalpy at point number 2 point number 2 is what superheated so we have h2 equals to hg plus cp of soup into t2 minus t sach so for 2 you have to take value at 40 hg at 40 hg at uh, 40 is 1490 plus cp soup t2 we have just confirmed 122 1702 kilojoules so this is the normal procedure to calculate what we want cop for cop we will first calculate re h1 minus h4 put for this value and solve your answer is 1109 now next calculate w that is the specific work about compressor higher minus lower value h2 minus h1 so this is 251 and what is uh, cop is re by w 4 point you want to calculate mass flow rate of refrigerant and rc is given as 10 tr basically rc equals to what m dot multiplied by re rc is given as 10 tr it is known that 1 tr equals to what 3.52 kilowatts this one is mass flow rate of refrigerant re is known to us is 1109 from this we can calculate m dot kg per second so mass flow is 0 0.03174 kg per second this time we will directly calculate what is COP? COP is simply RE. RE is what? H1 minus H4 divided by H2 minus H1 equals to H1. H1 is inlet, inlet to the compressor. So this one is H1, 232. Exit of condenser is same as inlet to the evaporator is 116. Inlet to the condenser is H2 is 283. 2.27. A refrigerator based on ideal vapor compression cycle operates between of 2 degree and 26 degree condenser temperature is 26 the refrigerant enters the condenser saturated vapor at this point is it entry to condenser this point is saturated vapor in our regular cycle this one is saturated vapor 
if this one is saturated it must it means that this must wet conditions then he says that leaves as saturated liquid so this one is saturated liquid so this one is pressure versus enthalpy graph this one is constant condenser and this one is constant temperature like evaporator so this one is representing 2 degree celsius and this one represents 26 degree celsius that is the, is the condition is known as saturated vapor so we can very well locate saturated vapor or saturated liquid that is on this line or either on this line so point number 2 is saturated vapor vapor is here at pressure is 26 so this point is fixed so this point is 2 point is this value of enthalpy is equal to hg at 26 at 26 enthalpy of liquid and vapor is given vapor what we want is 198 for this one is it saturated liquid so this one is point number 3 is it on 26 so this one is saturated liquid 3 is fixed so value of h3 is equals to hf at 26 degree celsius hf at 26 is 60 0.64 but point number 3 to point number 4 is it a isoenthalpic process so this point is also known to us so out of four points we know the enthalpy of three point so two is here so isentropic process will be like this the process in compressor is always isentropic s2 equals to this one is sg at 26 degree celsius sg at 26 is 0.6865 now s2 is same as s1 but point one is wet since 1 is wet, we can write this value equals to SF plus XFG. But SFG we can write as SG minus SF at 2 degrees Celsius. You have to collect data at 2 degrees Celsius. 2 degrees Celsius SF is 0.1487. SFG, SG is 0.6956. And this value is same as 0.1487. The point is dryness having equals 0 0.98. As HF plus X1 into HG minus hf 2 degrees celsius so record the value at 2 degrees celsius it's 37.92 x1 is 0.98 hg is 188 minus 37.92 so this one is 185.38 so by this time do you know all enthalpy so you know all enthalpy is now so he says now the refrigeration circulation rate is 0.112 and this term is slightly misleading it says that refrigeration effect in tons actually he is interested in rc capacity actually yeah. sometimes you have to take the care of this so he is confirmed by what unit so first m dot is 0.112 later on we have to calculate cop so first of all we will calculate re then we will calculate w re is h1 minus h4 about evaporator compressor about 2 and 1 collect this data and confirm this two. so we know re we know w first of all we will calculate cop cop is re by w 10.24 and now we will going for RC that is refrigeration capacity is M dot multiplied by our RE. So M dot is 0 0.112 by RE 124.72. He is interested in tons of refrigeration. So we will divide this answer by 3.52. So approximately equals to answer is 4 TR.